Boys, today, the new PTB dropped, which released the new killer, The Artist, as well as the new map, Irie of Crows. I have no idea if I've pronounced that right at all. So I'm going to be using the killer's three adept perks plus Ruin, just because I think Ruin will work well with Hex Pentimento. I've decided to go for these two add-ons as well as the Ebony, just so I can show off that Mori. And without any more delay, let's get straight into the games. Okay, so we're in on the new map, and I gotta say, first impressions, it looks kind of insane. I get one of the breakable walls out of the way. I have no idea who this is, but I'm pretty sure this is the new survivor. And they're just holding W straight through the pallet. They have balance. Can I swing? I can't believe I hit that. That's so great. They're just holding W. Yeah, I don't think this is even a good point to use my power because they're not really staying at any loops. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what the survivor's doing. I guess they just realized that they couldn't drop the pallet. From what I can tell, that's how you're meant to use the power. Quick save, in the sense that as soon as they as soon as they start running a loop, you want to set up your crows. And then that's basically what you want to do. Like they stay at the loop, that's when you're gonna use the crows. What are you Okay? Okay? <laughs> what is happening? Okay, and we got them on a Scourge hook, so that's why we know that this survivor's over here. We can push them off with our Ruin as well. They have balanced? What is that? I assume that was balanced. Go for a little Moonwalk on the pallet, see if we can do a mind game. They're leaving the loop. Maybe I should try and set up a crow on this pallet. Oh, okay. I, I don't know what the plan was there. I see that survivor's aura, so... What I can do is as soon as they go to the pallet, I can just... That didn't hit? What? Game? Hello? Okay, I think they're playing pretty altruistic, so I'll try and throw this girl on a hook. We got them on a Scourge hook again, so I know that they're over on this gen. Okay. Might as well set that up. I don't get why that doesn't hit, but sure. No vault back. But I know exactly where the survivor is because of the crows. So that's pretty useful. And they just insta vaulted. Do they have dead hard? Are we running dead hard on the new survivor? Or are we running the new exhaustion? But what? What? I'm getting juiced. There we go. I don't know what that auto aim was on the gen, but I got juiced. I'll admit it. We got really lucky with the location of these scourge hooks. Okay, and we're back on the Fang. Fang is taking distance. Which I think is exactly how you want to play against this killer. Not dropping the pallet though. I guess they're a bit scared to drop the pallet. Just because of how this killer works. Yep, and they're just taking distance because they know that they can't play that. I accidentally put two crows down, but... Maybe I can force them to the window? Yeah, they're playing it really smart. Oh, my crow just disappeared. That sucks. Okay, and now I just see this survivor in the middle of nowhere. Is this the one that's death hook? Well, I have blood loss, so I might as well. It is. I haven't seen this before. Wow. <laughs> that actually might be one of my favorite Moris. I'm guessing this survivor wanted to see it too. Just because they do have a lot of gens up anyway. I just set up a few crows. He's going to leave the loop straight away. That's fine. I guess I'll just drop that chase. He just ran held W. She's going to vault. I don't know what that collision is. They've been doing a lot of the holding W. Which I can only assume is going to be like the main counterplay to this killer anyway. I'm going to have to get this pallet out of the way. Just because standard god pallet. Can't really do much if they hold W. Can I catch? Maybe? No. There's no way. Here they are. Maybe I'll set up a bird in time? I had to try. What did I get stuck on? Okay, the collisions on that rock are definitely a little bit weird. But we got the hit through the pallet, so I'll take it. Is that another Scorch hook? I'm not sure if that's just how the hooks look on this map, or if that is another Scorch hook. Is the Fang running into a rock? Sure. Maybe she got stuck on the same thing I did. Oh, 
How did that get no one? Almost. Almost respected the flashlight save attempt. Okay, let's get rid of this pilot. Nancy's making it all the way across the map. She's gonna make it to Shaq. Oh no, she didn't actually decide to play Shaq. That's interesting. Uh, Na Nancy? We good? Nice dead hard. Okay, and I'm pretty sure these guys are healing over there. And you should see my new perk is working because all of the gens should be blocked off for the next little bit. My ruin is already gone. I need to try and set up that totem at some point. Uh, very strong double back. Another scorch hook. I didn't actually even realize he was death hook. But I think over here, we should be able to set up a totem to get that new hex working. What do I actually have to do? I have to press space. So there we go. Now they should be 20% slower on every single gen. And here they are. I had to just go for a swing just to see if they would try and pre-drop. Ooh. Okay, well hit rollback, very much still a thing. Even in the PTV, of course. Where are we going, Nancy? Do I need to set up my birds? Okay. Uh, Nancy? Are we good? You see the Nancy lost a health state there because she literally just ran into one of the crows that I'd set up. Or one of the birds of torment, I guess. I want to see if this is actually going to work or not. There's surely not, right? Oh, you can actually hit them with the crows from that far. That's crazy. Okay, let's take chase with this Fang. This Fang is more able. Fang is... Very clearly competent. There we go, free health state. How are you gonna play this Fang? You can't use the pallet, there we go. And uh, Fang, apparently I have one next to my Ebony Mori, but here we go. That's such a cool Mori. Actually, I really love this Mori. Aesthetically, I think they did such a good job with this killer. And with the map, actually. I think that's the Nancy. I saw scratch marks over here. Yep, that's the blood. Let's set that up right there. What? Nancy? I mean, I guess she couldn't really have done much else. But, uh, let's get her in a good position for this final Mori. GG's, Nancy. Thank you for playing.